it's going Nija and in today's video I will be reacting green to episodes 5 and 6 of season 2 of Squid Girls. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 5 and 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> no. Nah. Like <laughs> Yeah, don't break it. He just got it. Exactly. Watch. Next thing you know, you're gonna fucking break it. Then play outside. He is right. Then Inca, why don't you buy your own? And take it outside. Oh God, she's gonna play with it while Tucker is gone, and she's gonna break it. Excuse me. No, you're gonna break it. You're gonna break it. I know you, child. Test drive my ass. So thank God you ain't break it, you just lost the damn thing. God damn it. Inca! Do you know how much those cost?
You sure did. She's going to find it. Come on now. It's Echo. Echo is definitely going to find it. Because <sighs> mm -hmm. she broke your freaking car. It was an accident. Oh, oh. Baby. You just buy him a new one. Or you just fix it. Perfect. That's a little too fast for me, but you know, okay, mate. I never came back either. I mean, yeah, I was about to say, you just need one. Yeah. Hmm?
damn. Nah, I think she's being a little selfish as well. Yeah, th there's something else. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, you will never know that I want my boobs to be bigger. <laughs> there you go. That's perfect. But, um... <laughs> I know. I mean, just pick one. There you go. Sometimes that's usually just what people want. Oh, Inca. <laughs> Looks like we're back to square one. This is why, you know, the earlier you finish your homework, the earlier you ain't got to worry about it. Damn. 
You were the only one who really got the time to finish your homework. like you about to go watch TV aren't you <laughs> oh Yeah. Oh. You know, it sure is, honey. Adulting ain't the greatest thing. It really isn't. It's one of the worst things in the world. Yeah, and look how. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where are you going? Baby, that's a seesaw. You don't do that like that. But she is having fun. Jesus, Inca, you just gonna end up hurting yourself. Oh, I thought we were gonna do kick the cam, but okay. See, why is that? Oh. She is not having fun. Not with that. Mm -mm. <laughs> and Tato. <laughs>
Inca. And that's why sometimes it's always better to play with someone else than by yourself. Yes, playing by yourself is really nice, but... You sure could have. I mean, yes, both of you on the seesaw, playing tag, you know, hide and seek, kick the can, whatever the freak you want to do. Like, you would have had a lot more fun playing together than by yourself. I mean, seriously. Once again, as I said, it is better to play with a friend than by yourself. Friend, significant other, whoever. Play a game you know, watch something, do something together because it's more memorable than just doing something by yourself. I'm just saying, you know, that's just me. But, <laughs> I, I mean, okay, so the first little mini episode, especially with, like, the fact that Inka broke uh, Takeru's toy, the RC car, like, that hurt. That kind of reminded me of when my dad, we bought my dad a, um, a remote control. <laughs> <laughs> plane and so um me my mom and my dad we decided to go out to like kind of like around the corner in our neighborhood and let him fly the plane so he flew it me and my mom just watched him you know be like a little kid ish whatever well long story short he was trying to have it you know land softly that thing went like yeah like still trying to land but yeah cur splats and all you hear is shit. And I was over here like. <laughs> trying my hardest not to laugh. But bro that shit was funny. That shit was so funny. But then also the wish part of this episode was really good as well. I mean yes even though it was so hard for Inka. To make a decision on what she wanted to wish for. I mean hell that's like all of us you know. Um, but still sometimes you can only take one. You can't have a thousand, you can only take one. But <laughs> even with the fact is that everybody was trying to give her something like, hey, why don't you do this? Da, da, da. Giving her examples or their own wishes that she that they have for her, which is sweet because they're like, hey, you know, let's not be selfish. Let's bring make it about someone else. It was really sweet. Like, ah, oh, I can't, my heart. Like, once again, this damn show always loves to, you know, Making me always have, like, almost semi-crying moments, but we're not to the point where I cry yet, where I'm like, I'm okay. <laughs> but yes, so, once again, moral of the story, always go play with a friend by yourself. I mean, you know, like, it's so funny because, and it's like, I should be talking because when I was a kid, and because I am such a kind of loner type person, because I am an only child, um... And because majority of, as as a former military brat, um, it was always usually kind of hard to find kids who were around my age because either the kids that my parents made friends with were either older than me, one, or two younger than me. So I was always like, it, it was always one of the worst things to be in any time when we had to go to a birthday party for somebody else or like a like barbecue gathering type thing because I would be the only like semi young kid slash teenager esque or preteen and then all the other kids would either be like five, six, seven or um sixteen, seventeen, eighteen in ish and they're all doing their own thing and then there's just little old me. So yeah, there were times where I had to find ways to entertain myself. So sometimes, yeah, I was hanging out with the little kids. Sometimes I was watching TV and such because sometimes I just wanted to, like, and, and, and I've always been like this even now where it's like if I go over somebody's house and I'm just doing the same thing that I'm kind of normally doing when I'm at home, I'm like, why should I really be here, you know? And I think I ha I've had that mentality for like a while now where I kind of now hate going over someone's house unless like, um... We kind of find, like, something to do. 
But, uh, well, if it's someone I like and I really, truly care about, then yes, I'm totally fine with doing the same things that I do at home, except, like, not recording, because, you know, when I get home and I record, I'm in my own freaking space and I get to say whatever the heck I want. But when I am over, like, mm, a certain person's house that I don't really like going over to anymore, and I haven't been over there in, like, a, at least a couple of weeks now, um, only because a certain person likes to go over there sometimes, not all the time. I, I get pissed because I'm like, uh, I, I could be doing the same thing at home, but no, we're here. <laughs> but yeah, go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode six. Okay. Episode six and three, two, one, go. I mean, you only got to start. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> oh, of course. Coincidence, my ass. <laughs> Oh, of course, because you just want to be alone with her. <laughs> Is it good? Damn, they still going. <gasps> <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Excuse me, oh my god. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Damn, he dying. Mm-hmm. Hey, indirect kiss. Indirect kiss. Oh my god. Yeah, it was fine. Damn, they still going. Jesus! We can stop. Oh, oh hey you. Yeah, you feel like an ass. Hold up. Did she just say half? Shit. If that's half, I literally cannot imagine what her full thing is. Mm -mm. <laughs> hey, Sonny. Aw, you're going to protect Inca. That's so cute.
That's adorable. <laughs> I wonder how this is going to go. Are, are you really going to be out here wearing all that black suit? Mm-mm. Well, damn, guys. Yeah, because you know security protocol, like, damn. Oh my god, Sonny! Damn. That looks good. Uh -uh. Hold up. I mean, girl, even though you are her SP, go home. You don't need to be there for the night. You gonna be here in the bathroom? No! She's already gonna be in there. She's in the water. What the fuck did I say? In the water. Get out! Are you going home? Hi, baby. Girl, you're not staying there all night. No, you're not. No, she ain't. No, no, no. No. Ooh, damn. She is beating the shit out of herself. Oh, my God. Okay.
girl, you should be dead. There she goes. Oh, shit! Bum bum ba dum bum ba ba na 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 na. <laughs> oh, oh, hold on. And there she goes, flying like fucking Pikachu. Oh, she looks cute! <laughs> oh. Okay, this is giving, like, major Thumbelina vibes, and I love it. <laughs> Here comes the rain. Uh oh. Now, how are you going to get home, though? Oh, it's a dollhouse. It's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> 
That food right there isn't real. It's not real. Yeah. No, I know. Uh, no, baby, don't cry. You're gonna see her again. Uh, mm hmm. Damn. Is it Alex? Alex! Oh, damn, Inca. Uh oh, bless you. Echo? <laughs> you weren't even that far away from home. She really was. Oh my god. <laughs> she was not that far away from home. Hold up. Wait. First, Sane had a dream of baby Inca. Now, Goro, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? And you know what? Here's the funny thing, and I didn't think about this until I watched this one. Chizuru is not even Chizuru or Takeru. No one is in these dreams except baby Inka and Inka. <laughs> oh shit! <I> can't. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean, though? Like, really? That has to mean something. Okay, can we talk about like Sane trying to be uh, Inka's SP this week, bruh? That shit was hilarious, and how she was like. I caught the bad guy, a.k.a. the bad guy was me the entire time. Girl. <laughs> girl, girl, girl. Woo. <laughs> that is some Scooby-Doo-esque type level-ish. Oh, <laughs> Stop, bruh. I fucking can't. You know, this show... This show always amazes me every single week. <laughs> but it was good. I love the fact that we got to see baby Inka again. And she's so fucking adorable. I love her so much. Like, yes, as love uh, as much as I love Inka Inka, baby Inka is the best Inka. <laughs> But can you imagine if, like, everybody decided that they all wanted to be Inca's SP for the week? <laughs> I can't imagine. Because what I was expecting that little whole episode to be about was the ki the boys who were all being, like, a part of her unit <laughs> and her security guards plus Sane with her SP bullshit and them always, like, colliding. Like, I really, truly would have loved to see that because the only thing was... Sane was her biggest enemy herself and, and not having to worry about, oh, like, Echo getting close, Chizuru getting too close, Sakeru, go <laughs> any of these characters. Speaking of, <laughs> girl going on that run with Chizuru, woo, girl, <laughs> my boy, 
my boy, you know, all, all for that cheese and goodness at the end of the day. <laughs> you are, you know what, and it's okay because most guys are like that and they will do anything for their girls. You are whipped, but not a bad whip. You are a good whip. And, I, and I'm okay with that. I say that is a good thing. You want to do things for your significant other. Even though if you are not into running like a three hour long run, <laughs> you do it because you love them. I mean, if it was me, I'd be like, can we go walking instead of uh, running? Or can we, like, fast walk? I'm, I'm really good at a fast walk. I hate running. I'm just saying. <laughs> but still, you do it because you love them. Like like I said, and I've said this once and I'll say it again. If I had a significant other that was deeply into Star Wars or something that he really, truly loves and cares about, and if I'm not really into it, I would still go see it with him. Even if I'm not the biggest fan of it and such. Because I have met some guys um, that they're either in between. They either like Star Wars, like they really, really, really like Star Wars or they're like they're into it but not as much. And that's the same thing with Marvel. Like I'm a girl who loves the shit out of Marvel and DC even though like now I haven't really watched like a Marvel film in like a while. <laughs> and I am going to try to watch the new Batman film just, you know, because I've heard good things about it. But like, even if I wasn't um, big fans of either of those type series and stuff, if my boyfriend was like, or my husband was like, hey, babe, I want to go see this, then I'd be like, yeah, okay, let's go. This is something that you are passionate about and that you care for. And I'm like, hey, even if it's not my thing, I'm still going to support you. And go see it with you because it's something you like and it's something you want to do. That's a good boyfriend slash girlfriend slash wife slash husband. You learn things here. <laughs> but other than that, guys, that is where I actually be towards episodes 5 and 6 of season 2 of Squid Girl. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. You join the Metro Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all. <laughs> excuse me, next Saturday for Patreons and next Wednesday for everybody else for episodes 7 and 8. Bye, guys.